Which is grateful I am to you for your show of appreciation. And now I'm thinking I need a little drop to ease the dryness in me throat. <laughs> <laughs> and to lubricate me for me supper. But I'm thinking the clapping of your hands won't buy me any. <laughs> <laughs> Make up your mind, Johnston, one way or the other. I'll have nothing to do with your schemes, Wilkins. I'll find the marshal and tell him what you're up to. You're going to change your mind about that, Johnston. Turn it out! Marshal, I had to shoot in self-defense. through this door? Well, it's just possible that the man Wilkins killed, he could have had friends. Mm. Well, Wilkins was a fool. He could have waited a little longer to get rid of Johnson. Well, it's a little late to do anything about that now, isn't it? It all depends. You talked to Marshall? Yeah, I talked to him. What did he say? Well, he said the circuit judge isn't due here until next month. He also said that Wilkins' plea of self-defense will hold up in court as long as we're the only two witnesses. Well, then we've got nothing to worry about. Aren't you forgetting about the harmonica player? He saw the whole thing. That drunken Irishman? No, he won't be back. If he'd meant to testify, he would have never run. Mm -hmm. Well, that's one chance we can't afford to take. If he shows up, you and I'll end up in that jail right along with Wilkins. Well, let's get out. Get out fast. Mm -hmm. Wilkins will talk if we run out on him. What are we going to do about it? Well, we're going to find that Irishman. Oh, that's real easy. And I ran into a trail hand, a saloon. He said he saw the old man heading west. West? It takes in a lot of territory. Yeah. The only town west of here is a little burg called uh, Outpost. I figure that's where he'll wind up. Well, when you find him, what are you, you going to do with him? Well, there's only one sure way to guarantee a man doesn't talk. Hmm? Kidding. Safe you are now, lad. You know, you could have hit Hannibal. Well, not being St. Patrick, it was the only thing I could do. You, you knocked his head off with of one shot. And not a minute too soon. For the good health of your little dog. Gee. 
Excuse me, sir. I sure do thank you for saving Hannibal's life. Sure, it must have been the good saints who sent me here in time. And what's your name, son? David Kane, sir. Ah, oh, sure, that's a fine Irish name. For a fine Irish broth of a boy. Are you Irish, too? Irish? And do I not carry the very smell about with me? My name is Matt Dexter, and I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Now, whilst we let our tongues wag, it's in great need of a rest, me legs, now. It was your music that threw me over to you. I'm not a very good player yet, and this doesn't help any. I fell and... Oh, sure, you have a natural gift, despite your handicap. Oh, you play too? In the olden days, I'd be known as the troubadour. You're good. Do you know that one? All right, let's have a go at it together. Come on. Have the heart for it, Davy. And who but Matt Dexter himself should know? You know, I'll bet you'd make lots of money in Outpost. Why, everybody'd want to hear you play. Oh, sure, those are bitter words. Me needing the money. And them folks starving for the music and we can't get together. Well, why can't you? Davy, I'm in need of a friend. Can you keep a secret? I'm your friend, Mr. Dexter. You saved Hannibal's life. The least I can do for you is keep your secret. Sure, no man can live forever, but I'm not ready for dying yet. You mean someone wants to kill you? And me as innocent as a child unborn. Well, if you've got enemies, my pop will help you fight them. Now, there'll be no fighting at all, at all, at all. It's better to be a coward than a corpse. At my age. Well... Then my pop could get word to the marshal, and then he'll do the fighting for you. No. I must not learn of my presence. I must hide, and for a good reason. And you must swear to keep my secret. I swear, Mr. Dexter. Want a pie, Davy? Oh, no thanks. There's not too much left. Oh, there's plenty. Give me your plate. Oh, no thanks. I've had enough to eat. Well, you sure must be hungry, Pa. That's your third piece. Oh, it isn't every night we have one of Mrs. Murchison's spine. I didn't know you were counting. I, I guess Luke is really going to be hungry when he gets home, huh? He always is. Oh, well, uh, we've always got enough to eat around here. What's the matter with you? You afraid somebody's going to go hungry around this house? Oh, no, not around this house. 